Hello everyone, Gilly here, and welcome to Less Than Enough Haskell. Today I'm going to be modifying our little rock, paper, scissors game to use a custom monad rather than using either, or maybe, as we did in previous videos. So if you're not familiar with what's going on here, we're just kind of parsing out a game, we're guarding for repeats, and then we're playing the game. So it's as simple as that. But basically what I want to do is I want to go ahead and define a new monad, rock, paper, scissors, game, and this game could be in some state of in progress. And it doesn't mean the game's in progress, that more means the processing is in progress, so maybe more parsing or doing something else like that. It might have a winner, which is just a hand, a particular hand has won. And then it might also have an error, which is a wrapper of the error type we defined in the last video. So. Basically, these are the different states that the game can kind of be in at any given time, and we're going to subsume the errors in this type, which is good and bad. So to actually make this a full class monad, we need to do a couple of things. We need to say instance functor RPS game. We need to say instance applicative RPS game. And we also need to say instance monad RPS game. So once we have these things defined for us, then we'll have a full class monad. You need these two to get to monad. So let's go ahead and let's just run this and see what happens. In Haskell, it's actually pretty cool about running things. Um, it just gives you a strong warning telling you what you need to do. So on functor, we need fmap. So if we fmap and we get an in progress with a value, and of course, fmap takes a function. So fmap says, apply a function inside of a container of some kind, inside of a context, if you will. Um, we're just going to return back in progress f of the value. If we fmap over some winner of a hand, we are just going to return back the winner of the hand. We're going to disregard the fmap function. If we fmap over an error, we are also going to disregard the fmap function. So you might notice that the winner and the error cases are actually pretty similar to each other, in some ways at least. So let's go ahead and run this and see if we get the next warning. We do, we get pure, and we get the um, applicative app function. So pure and applicative is gonna take in a value, and it's just gonna inject that value into our game. That's all it does, it constructs a value of the game. So we can do that by just saying it's in progress, V. And if we do this, we don't actually need to talk about the value on each side because we're just saying pure is the same thing as in progress, which is kind of nice. Okay, and then for the next part, basically what we want to do is we want to combine in progresses using this operator. So for app, for the AP operator, we're going to say if we have an in progress of some function and then we have an in progress of some value, well, that can equal in progress of f of that value. Let me make sure I did that right. Okay, it looks good so far, just some warnings still. So basically what this is saying is if you have an in progress that's wrapping some kind of a function, and you have an in progress that's wrapping some kind of a value, they can be combined with app by applying the value inside of the in progress. Now, there's a couple of other things we have to say here. If we have a winner of a hand, um, we don't actually care, change some words, we don't actually care what we have over here, we just want to make the winner propagate. And also, if we have an error, we don't actually care, and we just want to make the error propagate. <clears throat> and actually, you know what? I feel like it's right to actually make the error stronger. I'm not entirely sure why I'm thinking that, but let's make it so error wins out if we have an error on the left or on the right side too. Okay, so far so good. Now we just need to make bind work. And what is bind gonna be? Bind is gonna be, and I always get the direction of bind mixed up for some reason, but I think it's pretty much we have an in progress of some value. And then if we try to bind that to some function, well, that's gonna be f of the v. Let me make sure I have this right so far. No implicit definition for bind monad. Hmm. 
I thought that that was an implicit definition. Maybe I just, uh, I'm not covering all the cases, so it's kind of whining. Oh, yeah, it's good. I just missed down at the bottom. It, yeah, okay, we're good. I'm not covering all the cases, but it's not an error yet until we run it. So if we have some kind of a winner of a hand, then we just want the winner to come back. So again, disregard, disregard this F right here. If we have some kind of an error, we want the error to win, okay? So, so far so good. Now we just have to make our monad the thing that's actually used across all of the functions below. This actually won't be too hard, but basically we just need to change either error with RPS game. And that's basically it. Now, there's a couple things that are incorrect still. Wherever we have left, we need to use our new error wrapper. So we can say error instead of left. But I think that's actually all we need to do. So if we run it, we get in progress rock. Ah, missed one little thing here. Winner is kind of a special state in the game where once you have a winner, it kind of just dominates in progress after that. In progress will be ignored. So we need to make sure that when we actually play the game, when we find a winner, we declare that they're the winner. So if we run that, we end up with a winner of rock. Excellent. Let's just try an error just for fun. Here's repeats, repeat found. Here's an unrecognized character, unrecognized character found. And just for fun, here's an empty state, empty state found. Excellent. So I hope you all enjoyed this. If you have any recommendations or anything you'd like to see, please mention that in the comments below.